already a lot happening. Obviously, Aaron Stewart's decision to uh, shift races, obviously a big story tonight. There will be a lot happening over the next couple of days, and we're just getting started. Our team coverage continues at Foxwoods with News 8's George Holly and to Capitol the reporter. He's known by Republicans throughout the state, and he's built up a lot of goodwill and respect. Good evening, and yes, we are here at Foxwoods where this convention, as you just heard from Mark, is underway. And I'm joined right now with Mayor Mark Loretti, one of the candidates for governor and mayor. How do you feel here? You got the, the big roll call coming tomorrow. Do, do you feel pretty confident you're going to have that 15%? I'm ready for the roll call. You know, when you work hard and you, you get to the right places, and look, and I've got a pretty good message that I'm telling people all over Connecticut that it resonates with everybody who likes low taxes, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So 27 years as mayor, correct? 27 years and 10 years with no tax increase. And so, what is going on right now? Take us behind the scenes. What's your next 15, 20 hours going to be like? What are you going to be doing? Just focusing on the delegates, making sure that everyone stays put. As we all know, we if you've been through these conventions before, you know it's a moving target and people are being tugged and pulled in many different directions and and you got to stay with them and it's hard you got I mean you, those delegates can tell you they're with you or they're voting for you but until they actually make that vote you just don't know do you until the vote is called you, and you watch them stand up and be counted and you know so Aaron Stewart making a decision to drop out of the race and to run for lieutenant governor how does that change this race in your mind does, does it change things for you coming into this convention you know I'm not sure that it does uh, Aaron was a latecomer and I think a lot of the seeds had been sowed already by the time she got into it. And, you know, and I know what that feeling is like, so I, I think that there's little, if any, impact at all. And it, th does it get you wondering if you should team up with them, try to team up with anybody? Could there be a, another person that gets nominated off the floor here uh, to maybe run with Mark Loretti tomorrow for that, for that roll call? You know, I haven't focused on teaming up with anyone. No, my goal is to get my 15%, get on the ballot for the primary, and, and let's go. Mayor Mark Loretti, thank you so much. We are going to be here on Facebook, uh, on WTNH's Facebook, uh, covering this uh, for another hour here tonight, as well as for most of the day tomorrow. Tune in, ask your questions, and let us know what's happening. For now, live at Foxwoods, George Collie, News 8.